It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are just rolling along. Got Monday behind us, cruising along on a Tuesday. And I, d- I tell you, folks, I, I would never believed it. John has some sports trivia today, and he stumped me. I had no idea this was the case, but he got me. He got me this morning. Tell him all about it, John. And you're the sports guy. I know. That's what I, You're going to ruin my reputation around here. Three of the greatest baseball players of all time were all born on January 31st. Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, and Ty Cobb. No. Oh. Did I get any of them right? No. Oh. The great Jackie Robinson. Oh, he's pretty good. Born 1919 on January 31st. There, okay. Passed away in 1972. Ernie Banks. Yeah, Mr. Cub. That's right. That's right. Born 1931. Passed away 2015. And last but not least, the great Nolan Ryan. Hey, the Ryan Express. Born 1947 and still with us. Still going strong, too. All born on January the 31st. Can you believe that? Yeah, that is amazing. I recently watched the movie 42. Yep. I, I had great it, movie. I had had it recorded. And one of those rainy days, I was sitting at the house feeling sorry for myself. I was going through and deleting stuff and watching stuff that I hadn't watched, and I, it was on there, and I watched it. And, of course, I've always been a big fan of Jackie Robinson and no doubt. And, and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yep. Now, I didn't care, you know, the the L.A. Dodgers didn't mean anything to them, but to me, but, you know, uh, there was that mystique about the Brooklyn right Brooklyn Dodgers, you know, and, of course, we all know we all know what Jackie Robinson done, and, and, and of course, you know, the – the movie was pretty accurate, I believe, about what he, what he was faced with, and and how he had to, uh, uh, you know, what the things he had to endure, and of course Ernie Banks, you know, I mean, like you said, Mr. Cub, yep, you know, and of course Nolan Ryan. I'm not sure there's a greater and sorrier franchise to be right. drafted into than the Chicago Cubs, right? You know, bless his heart, because everybody will love you. You'll be a legend, but they're yeah. lovable losers. And, and it's like, you know, of course, I have to bring up my buddy Dick, my, my hero Dick Butkus, you know. Gail Sayer. Uh, uh, played, you know, played for the Bears when they were losers. You know, the greatest, probably the greatest, two of the greatest football players of all time. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Dick Butkus is the baddest guy that ever walked the earth. Yeah, he's pretty And, he and was never pretty got serious. the chance to play, you know, on a, on a, a, a high-quality, high-caliber team. Championship-winning team, but, that's right. But Nolan Ryan... Uh, I mean, I I can remember, you know, I remember watching him pitch. Yep. And and I mean, I would watch him when he was on TV. And you know, I'm not a big sports guy, but the guy was phenomenal. Oh you yeah. Know? And and of course, you know, the number of strikeouts that he would have, and the and the durability that he had. Right. And and of course, you know, uh, uh, I mean, just you know, the the fight, and I can't remember who it was with. Robin Ventura. Right. And, I mean, they play it every so oh, often, yeah. you know. And I mean, he uh, he didn't he didn't he didn't duck and run. Buddy. Robin Robin Ventura with another Chicago team, the White Sox. Yeah. No one threw him inside, and he decided to charge the mound. I don't think anybody ever charged the mound on Nolan Ryan again. I don't think so, night. man. I don't think so. He he stood there and waited on him, and he he let him have it. Yep. You know? Well, but Nolan the, Ryan's done wrestled Broncos and and charging yeah. bulls and everything. Why is he scared of a third baseman? Guy? Right, you know. But uh, I mean, just three of the greatest ball players of all time, you know. Uh, baseball. I mean, there's just, you know, you got football and you got basketball and you got hockey and you got soccer and all that. But you know, baseball is baseball. It's America's game. It's America's game, and you know, I mean, you can't help but admire Jackie Robinson. There you go. And, and I mean, you know, uh, all the things that he went through. Right. You know. Uh, and uh, uh, the things that he had to endure, no, but he knew what he was doing, and and he knew that he was blazing a trail for those to come, and and you know, uh, Branch Ricky was just a, uh, uh, he was phenomenal too. Oh, absolutely, he had he certainly had a vision. He had a vision, and he was he stuck with it, and uh, 
And I thought Harrison Ford did an outstanding job playing him in the movie. He did a great job. He did a great job. And Chadwick Boseman did a great job playing Jackie. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. But I did not know until I watched that movie, I may have heard it before, that 42 is, is, is that number's retired for all baseball. Yes. The only number. Right. And I thought Babe Ruth's number was retired. For, all, for all franchises. Well, he is for the Yankees, but yeah. not for everybody. Yeah, right. But, I mean, that says a lot for the man, you know. But uh, January the 31st, three of the all-time greats, you know, born on this day. That is amazing. That is some outstanding coincidence right there. That's and right. you heard all about it right here on Remember When with Uncle John. Hey, I guess we'll catch up with you tomorrow, John. It is Wasslin' Wednesday. See you tomorrow. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.